Welcome back to The Healthy Revolution. Today we're diving into organic food. What is it? Why is it so expensive? And does it really matter if you're buying it? Watch the video to the end for all these answers, because some of them might actually surprise you. So, what does organic mean when it comes to our food? Understanding what organic actually is, and what makes one product safer or healthier than another, will help prevent you from being fooled by labeling fraud, which we will also cover in this video. So let's get into what organic is. Organic foods are raised and grown differently than conventional farm foods, and they can affect your health differently as a result. The definition for organic varies country to country, but according to the USDA standard for organic foods, produce and grains need to be grown with natural fertilizers, utilize eco-friendly pest control, and use a process that conserves and protects soil and water use. For meat, dairy, and eggs, animals must be raised on pasture, receive humane treatment, and the use of hormones or antibiotics is prohibited. As for packaged goods, there cannot be any GMOs, the product needs to be traced from farm to store and cannot have any artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Essentially, organic products are grown and created through processes that cycle resources, conserve biodiversity, and preserve ecological balance. This also means less unnecessary chemicals making their way into you through your food. What kind of benefits can you expect? Well, according to the Mayo Clinic, you can expect things like increased nutrients in your food. Organic produce can have increased types of flavonoids which have antioxidant properties. Additionally, your produce will have much lower levels of pesticide residue, if any at all. And residue that can be found are much safer, often natural forms of pesticides compared to that of conventional farm foods. As for your grains, you can expect to see lower levels of cadmium, a toxic chemical naturally found in soil and absorbed by plants. This is likely due to the ban on synthetic fertilizers for organic farms. So how about animal products? Like your meat, dairy, and eggs. Well, the animals on organic farms are fed to regulations that often result in higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids, and there won't be any GMOs or antibiotics. However, keep in mind that just because something is organic does not mean it is totally healthy. It is still important to avoid too much sugar, cholesterol, sodium, and saturated fats. So why are organic products so much more expensive? To put it briefly, the method of farming can result in lower yields. Organic farms are held to standards that make it difficult to produce nearly as much as conventional farming. The EWG compiled a list of foods most and least contaminated by pesticides that have been known to cause cancer and damage reproductive health. So if you're trying to cut costs, make sure to buy the most contaminated foods organic, and the least contaminated are likely safe to buy conventional. The EWG's 2024 Dirty Dozen are strawberries, spinach, kale collard and mustard greens, grapes, peaches, pears, nectarines, apples, bell and hot peppers, cherries, blueberries, and green beans. Here's the clean 15 from EWG's 2024 Shopper's Guide. Avocados, sweet corn, pineapples, onions, papaya, frozen sweet peas, asparagus, honeydew melon, kiwi, cabbage, watermelon, mushrooms, mangoes, sweet potatoes, carrots. See the full list on their website. Budget really tight? You can also reduce the amount of pesticides and other dangerous contaminants by peeling your fruits and veggies. However, understand this sometimes reduces nutritional value. And always wash everything you buy, even if it is organic. Another way is to start growing your own food, but that's something we will cover in future videos. So, in short, yes organic does matter, and yes eating organic can make a difference in yours and the planet's health. But be cautious when looking at labels. Money-hungry companies are looking to capitalize on your drive to be healthier. They will make you think their product is good for you through food fraud. Food fraud is the act of purposely altering, misrepresenting, mislabeling, substituting, or tampering with any food product at any point along the food chain. Luckily, in the last few years, the FDA has created stricter guidelines for foods to be allowed to be labeled as healthy. However, the guidelines still have a long way to go before food fraud is totally eliminated. All in all, we recommend you don't rely on packaging and labeling, since there are a lot of ways, despite FDA regulation, for companies to fool you. When you are shopping and trying to decipher which foods are actually organic or healthy, look for the official USDA organic seal and ignore the flashy advertising. Head straight for the nutrition facts. 
We know they can take a lot of extra time, and some of the stuff listed is difficult to fully understand. To help, try downloading a food scanning app such as Yuka or Spoonful, which will tell you with just a scan of the barcode whether a product you're looking to buy contains anything dangerous or unhealthy. Remember, we're just giving you the facts. What you choose to do with them is on you. Share your thoughts in the comments below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content that could help you live a healthier life. Until next time, eat well and stay healthy.